Uh, we now come to the portion of the evening that many of us are here for. Uh, before I call up anyone, um, I'd like to say a, word, a few words myself. Um, we obviously all know uh, what this uh, today's event is about, so without further ado. Uh, Commander Banderas, uh, most of us know him as Dragon, um, has been with us since the 14th of January 2020. He has passed every single rank, challenge, member and barrier to reach his tenure as Commander in March of 2021. Since then, he has served 161 days in the position of Commander, second only to myself at 434 days. During this time, Dragon has also become a close personal friend and uh, that is a friendship that I feel pri uh, privileged to have. Today he steps out of his role as Commander to move on to a goal that he has had his eyes on for the better part of the last year, the United States Navy. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you've done for us. It hasn't been an easy road, but there's no one else I would have chosen to ride this wave with. I wish you nothing but the best in your initial training with the military. I know you'll crush it, and I know you'll come back an even stronger person, and you've got all of our support. I'd like to use this time to remind everybody of the birth value of 5.0. This community was built on the foundations of trust, passion, and love. Foundation that are sometimes easily forgotten, but let us remind ourselves, regardless of your rank, role, or the medal that you wear, Ohana, family over everything, team over all, uh, Commander Banderas, I now ask you to step up. Right. Thank you. Just go ahead and shift right to place. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Alright. First of all, thank you, Garrett. Thank you to everyone that is currently here standing before me, and to all that are watching and listening from afar. When I say this task force, this crew, this family, has had an impact on me over my time served, I truly mean that. All of the amazing people I've had the honor to meet and talk to on the daily basis over the time served has truly made my life more positive overall. Like all things, there are there come the ups and the downs, the negatives and the positives, and the momentous events with the rough patches. We've seen major shifts in leadership over the course, we've seen great people rise through the ranks just to move on to the next venture, and we've seen people quit at the first sign of struggle. That first sign of struggle is what either rocks your boat, and drowns you, or it brings you to shore to climb the next challenge, the next barrier blocking your path to greatness. Many of us have personal struggles on the daily basis, some of us with children, jobs, schooling, extracurricular activities, and family dysfunctions. We all leave those personal issues at the door and pick up our controllers to be online to escape all of that on the daily basis. Every challenge that has hit our feet, Right at the infancy of this group, we had the worldwide pandemic. We've seen wildfires tear scars across the bushes of Australia and the forests of the United States. We've lost family members, we've lost friends, and we've lost touch. One thing we haven't lost is the human connection to make uh, all of that distraught and pain feel just a little bit more relieved. I've seen personal losses and personal gains. This group has followed me through all of them. We've all seen one another at low points and at our high points my journey to where I am currently embarking on upon becoming a full active duty United States sailor. In approximately 10 days, I will begin a massive hurdle and barrier that is going to take not only mental turmoil, but a physical challenge. I've been preparing for this departure since I enlisted on December 17th, 2020, as I leave on August 23rd, 2021. What does this mean for where I'll be within this group? We'll have to find out along the right. I will not have any communications to the group for approximately 8-9 to nine weeks, followed by 24 weeks of semi-consistent communications. We have weighed our options and we will be officially appointing the position of commander until further notice during my time for leave. Upon my return of active service within the task force, I will return to a position that is overseeing the task force that will be decided at the time. I know that over the next two months, there will be lots of adjustments, lots of shifts, and most importantly, lots of great accomplishments. 
Your command team and senior management staff have been working daily to provide the best updates and features into our task force and community, which they will continue to accomplish over the following months and weeks. There are many plans that will forever change how we operate, how we integrate our community, and how we can become a well-known group within the world of gaming. I know that these shifts will take time to adjust to, but I know that during the time for challenging, no one here is willing to give up the fight. I just want you to remember this. This speech is not a goodbye. It is a message that I will return and I will be back. Now, at this time, may I call Staff Sergeant Gilchrist to stand before me. I ask that all members uh, join me and raise their salutes. Use the interaction menu, hold back, double tap A and hold it down. I'll give you guys some time. Uh, a couple of seconds to get this ready. Uh, just hold it down and um, lastly um, I the director of the 5 task force has replaced special trust and confidence in the patriotism valor fidelity and abilities of staff sergeant glitch to view his qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility he is therefore promoted in the 5 task force to the rank of commander Assigned by myself, Director Garrett, 13th of August, 2021, as witnessed by Agent Mag, Agent Pierce, Agent Kane, Agent Emperor, now former Commander Banderas, Detective Blood, Detective Ginge, Lieutenant McMaster, Officer Lee, Officer Landon, Officer Jones, Officer Piper, SWAT Officer Kuma, Correction, former, former SWAT Officer Kuma, uh, Recruit Connor, Senior Agent John, Sergeant Raven, Sergeant Robinson. Glitch, when you entered this task force as an officer in the May of 2020, you were asked to swear an oath. It was your first oath on the task force and now it shall be your last. Please raise your right hand after releasing your salute and repeat after Banderas. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of San Andreas. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Of which I'm about to enter. Of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Please lower your hand. Congratulations. Oh, um, all release salutes. Commander Glitch, myself and uh, Dragon will step to the side during this time. Please face your men and address them. Oh Lord! <laughs> so where do I start? <clears throat> I have prepared some words. The best speechwriters of my time, Terry Edmonds, John Avro, Cody Keenan, Commander Banderas, all have one thing in common. They were bloody good speechwriters. And are bloody good speechwriters. Now, I'm no speechwriter, but for the odd occasion, pen and paper must meet, and believe me, pen and paper did meet today. Nelson Mandela said, There is no passion to be found playing small, 
and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Passion being the key statement, and Denzel Washington summed this up beautifully in a statement two years ago. Without consistency, you will never finish. So do what you feel passionate about and take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Now my passion in 5 was never about the job. It was never the deployments on operations and coming home. I've lived that life. I've experienced the impossible become possible. And I've seen the impossible remain, uh, let alone what we've been through in 5 over the last yeah, 18 months, as, as Dragon said earlier, wildfires in Australia, COVID-19, pandemic across the world. You know, we are a, a band of and we want to that Now, I'd also be honest to stand here and say Commander was my final goal, uh, because what we have planned in the background for the future of our crew is so very exciting and we as the command staff are, are only just getting started whether my time as commander is for a long while or a brief blink of an eye i will continue to hold passion for our people for there is no team without people there are no fighters without the fire that rages inside you that pushes the boundaries of what is possible and what we thought was once impossible my directive in office will differ from those that have held the position before me. I intend over the next few months to empower our leaders to lead in and out of theatre. Together with my command team, we will bring new structures and policies to ensure the right people are in the right position to grow our tactical operations division and allow our investigations bureau to do as is advertised on the tin. As a 5-0 task force, we will not defer from terror. We will take our operations to every corner of the world. There simply is no excuse. As long as it's on the GTA map. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> I ask that you have faith in me as a guide as we embark our next chapter. For I promise you the fun is only just getting started. And finally, Dragon, we wish you all the best as you start your next career in the military. I may be slightly biased, but you're making a fantastic decision. And I hope for a swift return to us. Thank you. Thank you, Gilchrist. Woo! Can we get a round of applause, guys? I'd meet your mics. My mic isn't picking it up. Well. <laughs> We can do that. We can do better than that. All right. Round of applause in three, two, one. Clapping sound. Yay. 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 For once, my mic isn't picking up the background. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. All right. Shall we? Uh, shall we go party now? <laughs> um, yeah. Say it's about time. Just closing this off, guys. Uh, thank you to all who partake and uh, continue to partake in our community. Um, thank you for all being involved in the next book in the history of 5.0. Um, <clears throat> shortly after being dismissed, I'd love to take this opportunity to take a, a big group photo just uh, behind you all. Um, you're all also invited for some off duty hangouts um, at the yacht that Dragons. I'm hired out to fair, uh, as his farewell and uh, glitches welcome party. Um, just like I said before, and I'll always say, uh, the show goes on. Dismissed. <laughs>